Dang, you really want that Bubba? I one? really do. <laughs> I'm literally picturing Bubba like in my mind right now as we're reading. One of the most popular questions we get is, how should I invest my first $1,000? When I first started investing, I didn't know how to pick stocks. I didn't know what index funds were. I barely understood what a stock or bond was. I didn't really know much at all. So today we'll discuss the best place to invest your first $1,000 and three options for how to invest as a beginner. We will also give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these purchases using Fidelity. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a certified public accountant. And I'm her other half, Monique. I'm a pharmacist, but I love personal finance and investing. Welcome to Finance Pillow, Pillow Talk. Talk. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these topics, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's, let's be rich. rich. First off, we need to remind you that we are not financial advisors. So everything we're about to discuss is not financial advice. We're just two regular people on YouTube, providing our personal opinions and sharing our experiences. In general, never take advice from anyone without doing your own research. It's okay to listen to other people, but always do your own homework. Even the experts don't always get it right. For this video, we will assume that you have already done all the other things recommended in our very first video. That video discusses all the things you need to do first before you start investing, such as paying off credit card debt, saving some money for an emergency, and more. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. It will give you an overall game plan for how to manage your money. Okay, we're assuming that you have now watched our other video. You've already done steps one through three and you are now at step four. Open a Roth IRA and invest $50 per month. You are now at a point where you are truly ready to invest, and this is where the fun starts. Why? Because this is when you start to make your money work for you. You'll make money while you're hanging out with your friends, while you're working out, while you're shopping, and while you're asleep. Welcome to the world of passive income. It's paradise here, and once you've arrived, you'll never wanna leave. First off, you may be wondering, why should I invest using a Roth IRA? Why can't I just open a Robinhood account like everybody else? Why? Well, do you wanna do what everyone else is doing, or do you wanna do what wealthy people do? Let us explain what a Roth IRA is and why it is probably one of the best investment vehicles ever created. A Roth IRA is an investment account meant to help you save for retirement. You make contributions using after-tax money, which is money you've already paid taxes on, buy investments within this Roth IRA, and as long as you follow all the rules, your withdrawals are completely tax-free. For example, let's say you're 21 with an income of $40,000 and a current Roth IRA balance of $0 and you're single. If you contribute the annual maximum of $6,000 per year into this Roth IRA from now until you retire at age 67, you'll end up with $1.4 million. If you had invested that same amount of money using a taxable account like the ones at Robinhood, you would only have $966,000 because the rest would go to tax. Using a taxable account would have cost you $474,000 that's almost half a million dollars in taxes. But maybe you're thinking, I don't want to wait until I'm old and retired to use this money. Well, with the Roth IRA, you're allowed to withdraw your contributions at any time. You only have to pay taxes and penalties if you remove your earnings early. So if you put $10,000 into a Roth IRA and it grows to $15,000, you can take out that $10,000 at any time. You will only be taxed and penalized if you take out the $5,000 of earnings early. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I don't want to put my money in a Roth IRA because I'm saving for a down payment for a house. Well, IRS early withdrawal rules allow you to take up to $10,000 of investment earnings penalty free to fund the purchase of your first home. And the IRS considers you a first time home buyer if you haven't owned a home for the last two years. There are maximum income limits for contributing to a Roth IRA. So be sure to look up maximum Roth IRA income limits before you start contributing money to this account. And if your salary is too high to contribute directly to a Roth IRA, check out our backdoor Roth IRA video because there's still a way for those with high income to take advantage of Roth IRAs. We won't go into any more detail about Roth IRAs, but we hope we've convinced you that this is the best place to start investing. If you're interested in learning more about Roth IRAs and how they compare to other types of retirement accounts, check out our other video here. Now that you've opened a Roth IRA, we're gonna show you three options for how to invest as a beginner. We'll go from the easiest option to the most difficult, but really even the most difficult option is still very simple for beginners. Option one, 
use a robo-advisor. When I first started investing, I opened a Roth IRA using the robo-advisor Betterment. Betterment made investing super simple. All I had to do was open the Roth IRA, tell them how old I was, and they pretty much took care of everything else. I made a deposit from my checking account into my Roth IRA every month, and I didn't have to think about a single thing after that. It's completely passive, it was easy, and their fee is only 0.25%. We think this is a great way to start if you have no idea what you're doing, but you just want to get started. There are other robo-advisors available, but Betterment is one of our favorites, and we've personally used them ourselves. We'll include a link for Betterment in the comments if you're interested in going with this option. There's also links for a bunch of other great stuff in our video notes. One free stock from Robinhood, four free stocks from Webull, free cryptocurrency from BlockFi. If you use our links, it won't cost you anything but we will get a small amount of money, crypto, or some free stock for the referral, which really helps us out since we make these videos for free. And if you like our finance pillow talk gear, there's a link for that below too. So we would love it if you would use our links or pick some of our gear, but if you don't, that's okay too. Please just give us a like and post a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Option two, use a non-robo advisor. If you're a little more ambitious and you think you may want to be a more active investor in the future, we would recommend going with a brokerage like Fidelity or Vanguard. We both personally use Fidelity for several reasons. First, because this is where our work 401ks are, so it just makes things easier to have multiple accounts at one place. Furthermore, Fidelity has been around a long time. They have great customer service and they have a ton of resources if you want to learn more about investing. Once you've opened a Roth IRA at the brokerage of your choice, you need to choose the investments to buy within the account. Option 2A, Target Date Fund. The next easiest option after RoboAdvisor is a target date fund. A target date fund is a fund with asset allocation set up to match the year in which you want to retire. It's completely automatic and hands-off. You contribute money and the fund will take care of everything else. All you have to do is choose the year you want to retire. For example, using Fidelity, I could go to Muse and Research and then select Mutual Funds. For the asset class, I will select Allocation. And for the category, it'll show me several target date funds. Choose a target date fund with the year closest to when you would like to retire. Okay, you're about to find out how old I am. Pause the video and write in the comments how old you think I am. Oh, I'm scared to see how this turns out. Okay, drum roll please. <laughs> I am currently 34 years old. Yes, I am old AF. Hopefully I don't break a hip after I see the numbers you guys post in the comments. So the retirement age in America is 67. Since you are 34, you would have 33 years until retirement. The year is 2020, plus 33 equals 2053. So you would have to select the target date 2050, and there are 16 matching funds available. Click View Results. Now you'll see all the target date funds available. We would choose a fund that has a balance of high 10-year performance, as well as a low expense ratio. Expense ratios are basically the fees the fund charges. Most of these funds have pretty similar performance, so we would favor the lower expense ratio. Once you've chosen the fund you want to buy, click it. Select the account in which you want to buy the fund. For the action, select Buy, and then you can choose the dollar amount of that fund that you want to buy. Because Fidelity allows you to buy fractional shares, you can choose a dollar amount that you would want to buy, rather than being limited by the price of the share. Robo-advisors are also essentially using a target date fund, but with a robo-advisor, you only have the option of the fund they put you in. If you use a non-robo-advisor, you can choose other options in addition to your target date fund. For example, if I open a Roth IRA at Fidelity, I could buy $500 of a target date fund, and later I could buy Amazon stock within the same Roth IRA. So non-robo-advisors give you more flexibility. Option 2B, index funds. If you really want to do things on your own without a robo-advisor or a target date fund, we would stick to index funds for now. If you want a full explanation of index funds, ETFs, and mutual funds, check out our other video here. In that video, we also discuss our top five funds at the end. Using Fidelity, you can buy index funds the same way you bought a mutual fund. We will use QQQM as an example. Click buy, select the account you want to buy this in. Now you will choose buy again and then Fidelity allows you to select whether you want to buy a certain number of shares of the stock or whether you want to buy a specific dollar amount. So regardless of what the price of the ETF is, I can buy just $50 of this if I want. This again is because Fidelity allows you to purchase fractional shares. So you can buy a portion of a share rather than the whole share. And then you have a market or limit order. A market order executes the order as quickly as possible at the best price available. So if the price goes up by the time you buy the stock, the transaction will still go through. A limit order allows you to buy a stock only if the price of that stock is at or below the price you've selected. For example, 
If I select a limit price of $100, this purchase will only occur if the stock price of QQQM drops to $100 or lower. We're long-term buy and hold investors, so when we buy index funds like this, we select a market order. We are not concerned with trying to time the market. We'll continue to buy shares of this ETF throughout the year as prices go up and down. With time, you'll learn more about concepts like asset allocation, tax loss harvesting, rebalancing, fundamental and technical analysis, and so much more. But learning all of these things will take time. So for now, keep it simple. Stick with a robo-advisor, a target date fund, or a few index funds. It honestly won't make a huge difference in the long run which of these you choose. Just getting started is so much more important than doing everything perfectly. The amount of time your money has to grow is really the most important piece of investing. If you want to see an example of the difference time can make in investing, check out our other video here. That's all we have for you today. If you got any value from this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime we post a new video. Post any questions or recommendations for future videos in the comments. Thanks again, and we'll see you for the next Pillow, Pillow Talk. Talk. Okay, we're gonna go in the car and go get boba. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Let's get boba. I'm hungry.